Moi yo enzo. Well, well, what to say. Yeah, sitting here, um, looking around um, and see for yourself. It all looks very normal. Um, but I think what we understand as normal does not quite meet the reality on this planet. And here in Yuenzu, we have to do things a bit differently. Um, the thing is, it doesn't seem like it. Everything seems to be so good and easy um, to most of us, maybe. But when we think about it, our survival priorities are still the same that they always were. And that is, we have to have a shelter, right? The shelter that can be a sleeping bag, a tent, that can be a fire, that can be a boat, right? It can be a house. So we have to have a shelter, we have to have water, uh, we have to have food. Uh, with food, it's quite interesting, like our food has to have a positive energy input-output balance, right? We have to get more back than what we invested in terms of energy. And that right now we don't do. There's not a single food in the supermarkets here, uh, in our common food, that has a positive energy input-output balance. And that's a tough one, because if we don't have this, we don't survive. Um, so, like, in fact, all of our six of our priorities are currently not covered here. Not in a sustainable way, not in a way that our children could safely copy the way we are doing it here in Yuenzu. Um So, other priorities um, are air. Well, we are, we are blessed with good air quality, but globally that's a bit different picture. Uh, also, also, our water is really nice, we're really lucky. Um, but still, we shouldn't waste it to, you know, water a golf course maybe. Yeah, a place where there usually should be trees and where we need to have trees. We need to have trees. Like, sorry, I mean, golf people, I have played golf, it's really a lot of fun and it's like good to socialize. But really think twice, think twice. We have to think twice on everything. We have to completely, really completely redo our lifestyles here. Um, and I'm not talking climate change. Like it doesn't really matter if you believe in climate change or that it's man-made or not. It's like the whole picture. I mean, climate change is just one symptom, right? Like our our whole society is not sustainable, right? We value uh, a self-made story. Yeah, we value money over nature. You know how crazy is that, right? Um, so we have to think of our six of our priorities. Have to understand what do we really really need because in nature you're not allowed to take more than what you need and nature is the only place on earth we are nature if we want it or not so also here in UN so sitting here on the bench same story right so and right now it's not looking good for us it's like I, I call it the suicide bubble right the suicide bubble because yeah, it's a it's an illusion. It doesn't work, All right? So we have to do things a lot differently, and we have to think how can we get our six survival priorities covered uh, with the least input, least impact. And that means we have to focus on our lives here. Um, that means we have to be more outside than online. We have to take care, um, you know, of our own food, of our own shelters. We, like, we have to reduce our dependency on fossils. When I look at the street network here, you know, almost everything I can do with bicycle or shared car or public transport. Um, like, just put a trailer behind your bike and you will see it really replaces a car easily. Especially if, you sh if we share the existing ones. That means, like, we could actually reduce the network of our, of, of our street traffic not in terms of you know extension but in terms of width of maintained road surface the steps that we have to take are are huge but they're in, in a way they're really small because they're just a switch here in the brain to take it's just you know wanting it and you know understanding it that like we do not have certain choices that are actually legal that are actually advertised right buying a banana here in Yuenzu, yeah advertised um legal but certainly not helpful. So, buying new stuff, thinking money more than nature, doesn't work. Doesn't work. So, um, 
and what I see in your end. So we have huge, huge, huge potential. We have so much knowledge. We have all the solutions we could possibly need. Uh, we have it available and we have the wisdom of our old people. We, we forget that too much. But um, like what, what we could do, I mean, like just look at the parks here. Like we have so many areas which are only used by lawnmowers. And th there, there could be growing food easily. Yeah, so we have to really rethink and, and the steps we have to take are certainly not baby steps because it's really like it's a life or death situation. We have to understand that we have a life or death situation. So it's not a choice like, you know, but I, I want to drive, uh, you know, like or want to engage in motorsports. You know, it's like really, that's really tricky things. But we have to really also understand that we have to think positive. It's really, that's a time for Sisu. If, when not, then now. Like, this is Sisu time. So we have to like, just go for it and believe that it's possible, even if it means we have to endure something and we have to, you know, get out of our comfort zones. We have to take bold steps. We have to do adventure and take risks. Because the risk of not doing the step that we need to do is much, much bigger. So, like when I think of the nomad town, like what we are trying to build now just on the outskirts of the town, like when I think of it that the, the legal obstacles on the way to have an off-grid sustainable lifestyle is sustainable lifestyle, that's a human right. And inside the city it is impossible, it's even illegal to, to live on this level of sustainability because certain things are just not allowed, right? Like living in, in shelters, which are made from locally sourced materials, uh, which you know don't need a sewage system, which don't need um, like water access. So which don't need hardware stores, which don't need experts that we need to outsource from elsewhere. So like our potential of doing things is amazing because we have everything here. We have so many materials that we need to recycle locally. Kiratus uh, Keskus. Uh, amazing thing. Like now in Kusankoski you can't get scrap metal anymore. They don't sell it anymore. We can't even access the dump pits legally. Like we have so much food that we throw away every day. Like in the in the supermarkets, in the schools, um, in restaurants, private households. We all need to share this. And we have olio. We have olio already here in UN, so we just don't use it. And these are solutions that just work. Um, by users, by just using it, sharing platform Olio, like car sharing, peer-to-peer -peer car sharing, blocks car, we have this in, in Yuanzu. And like the effort to actually make those things work is far too big. Like, you know, there's no reason why we shouldn't use communication solutions because it connects us. So yeah, we need to connect. That's, that's another one. Like we really need to reconnect with each other, with the neighbors. Uh, know what's around, have the, the Kiriasto system, um, you know, that you use the, the, the library pass and, and get, I don't know, a lawnmower, a chainsaw, or whatever um, we have. So, car sharing in general, like peer to peer car sharing, not only car rental, but like, you know, online, on time, seeing where is somebody who needs a ride. benches all over the countryside you just sit on the bench and the green sign is up everybody knows who drives by you want to ride in that direction you know it's so easy solutions put up a bench <laughs> uh, yeah so what we need locally we need um, a, an emergency declaration that's that's for me no question it's not like lo globally like we have something like close to 500 um, climate emergency declarations of whole countries even but it's not about climate change only. So we have to declare emergency. We have to stop projects um, that are not, you know, helpful, prestige, like some things that are like, you know, I don't know. Let's let's say we would have a company here making the, the Moomin cup, right? We have more cups than people on this planet. That's not our priority to make more cups. So, uh, and that's the way we have to think. We can't afford to buy new. The price 
for our lifestyle is too high for not only us but for all other life on this planet and we have to be adults we have to show that we do whatever we can to ensure survival for the future generations in, in, in all diversity of life like not just humans so that was it greeting to you Enzo um, it's an amazing place um, take care, take care. I, I don't know what to say. We have to take care of each other. And um, yeah, I think support each other because it's like really, this is, I don't know, the level of emergency that we have is quite big. The situation that we have is quite, quite a tough one, but I think we can do that because life is amazing. You know, that's the thing. Like life is so amazing. If you think of like, you know, really really good beautiful moments in life yeah and the more sustainable a lifestyle is the more fun it is the easier it is the more time you have the more connected you are so i think that's a good good journey to take on and uh yeah i'm confident i think your answer is very capable good example to the world bye bye